Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 12 of Don't Starve. Lots of giants as WX, and I'm so sad. Last episode, uh, <laughs> Badger. That was the cool part. Badger's dead. But D Fly, you mother truck. <laughs> well, maybe I'm blaming Chester on this one. So Chester died because D Fly just like walked right over to Chester, and D Fly's all like, hey Chester, how you doing? Squish. And he happened to have my carpet turf. My marble turf, all the stuff that makes things look pretty, and yeah, it was sad, but it's summer. It's almost over. Thank God. So, I was going to put all kinds of fancy turf around the base. That, you know, well, that didn't happen. <laughs> now I'm trying to go insane. I still have a little bit of flooring, but we did did lose some to defly. It sucked. We lost logs. We lost living logs. Meh. <laughs> things happen, right? So, let me come over here and check. My nightmare fuel is low. We have three logs. I am staying insane right now with WX for the sole purpose of getting more nightmare fuel here. And let's see, is this going to be the end of summer or is this going to be the last day of summer? We shall see. We shall see indeed. Because I want to get the fuel of Flingo if it's the last day. Okay, or it's the end of. It's the last day, so I might, I might as well top it off. 4% on this umbrella. The umbrella is about to kick the bucket, but that's okay. As long as I stay around base, I mean, hell, I don't even need to do this. I can just use the fire, or the endo, and then stay cool. So, let's see here. Sanity needs to be drained, so I could eat monster meat if I wanted to. That uh, gobbler's looking mighty tasty. Here you go. You see that? You know you... You know you want to prioritize that over your entire life. No, no, no. I know it's within... Oh, I mean, you could, go, you could go say hello to a tentacle, too. If that's what tickles your fancy, I can't stop you. Well, he, uh, that was the last thing they'll ever tickle his fancy. No, isn't it? So, uh, Gobbler's dead. I got some more, uh, for more food here to work with. I got a lot of sanity restoring foods. This, I thought, lowered... Ow. Oh, yeah, I'm WX. Normally that would have lowered, I think, 10 sanity, but I'm WX, so it doesn't even matter. I can, I can hop through the wormholes here really quick. And there's another Maxwell bot or Maxwell thing over here I can dig up. If I hop through the wormhole, is there any... There's no real place for me to explore up there. There's the wormhole all the way to the north that has not been mapped out. And there is this entire portion of the swamp. I'll start losing sanity throughout the night. Tell you what... I'll bring the cactus flower because they don't last too long but, I mean, like before they go stale and everything. Uh, like, like before they rot, I can use them and still get sanity out of it. Let me walk on down this way. I should stay pretty cold because of the thermal and I have my double endos. I have an endo pre-crafted, just not the pit. So there's the red worm hole. We'll just pray that reed trap doesn't combust. It's not the end of the world if it does. This is lots of giants. It, it, would, it would be unfortunate, but there's no way I, I can use all of those reeds. I have no particular use for them. I could dig up some blue shrooms if I wanted to, like, heal or something. Oh, I could dig up some green caps just to go full-blown insane as well. If I can find some green caps, actually, I, I will do that. But what I want to do is let me get around to mapping the swamp out. So, autumn coming up. Autumn's nice. The autumn's a chill time. Autumn will give me some time to mess around at base. Perhaps build a little bit. Put down some of that turf. I, I don't completely know what I'll use it for, but I'll, I'll probably deck the base out a little bit. Winter, though, I would like to get the Tam just because the Tam's cool and everything. I'm still interested in, you know, getting shocked by lightning, but you know my luck, right? Just like, even when we fight Moose Goose, I, <laughs> it's going to end up not happening. I mean, not Moose Goose, but the Moss Link, so I've got to hope that the next Moosey we get goes a little bit better. All this, all this swamp has had so far has been blue caps. Chester, I, I realize you're into that sort of thing, but Scooch, there's the single green cap. <laughs> That's the only green cap I've seen. So I don't want to push the retrap. I don't want to get that on screen. That's dangerous. It's cool and everything. It's not necessarily needed, but I don't really want to burn it. What do we have here? Green? Nice. So this is enough to get me completely crazy. And then remain crazy as I fight nightmares. And again, another green cap. That's just that's, okay. Here we go. Now we're getting lucky here. This is adding to the cause. So remember, lots of giants. We don't care. We just dig up the mushrooms because we're not in the world for the long term. Healing glands wouldn't be a bad idea. That spike is a pretty swell idea. 
mean, if a tentacle wants to smack some spooters and... Yep, there we go. Maybe we get another tentacle spike. Sweet. But having a tentacle spike versus a spear is quite nice. So I'll let them, uh, just, you know, piss off. I will go insane. Let me get next to base and probably just use up an endo real fast. Or fuel up an endo real fast. One, so I can see, and two, so I don't get overheated, because I am getting pretty hot already. There we go. And it makes it a tad easier to see them nightmares. So I could also dilly-dally with the turf. Let me just examine my flingos. We have a floating floating snowball here. See it? That happens every now and, uh, every now and then with the flingos. They get really derpy. So we'll put the turf in the fire if that is what benefits us. That keeps it going. Uh, let's see here. Any like particular thing? Or do I just try to do as much of it as I can? I only have 30 to work with. You know, there's a little bit more there, but that's not a lot. Pick up a stack of 10. Alright. Let's just do a line of it here so we can get an idea as to what we're dealing with. Still no nightmares. Go figure. When you want them, they don't happen. When you don't, they do. They know. They know. They know exactly what you're after. Bastards. Is that even... How many is that over here? From the lightning rod, it's that, and that. Okay, so we have one more, but the problem is the base isn't, like, that big. But in the interest of doing it that way, I'll just put you right here. There you go. So, extra fuel, it has to be in this chest, otherwise it's out of flingo range. There we are. So, the umbrella, I'm conflicted if I want to make that first, or if I want to wait, and then maybe make myself a, uh, like, like the abomination, you know, kind of use the googly eyes, because it's funny. I might do that first. Don't know yet. That was weird how it got, like, dark there, and then it got bright. I've noticed that a lot recently with DS. Where, like, as the day transitions, this is all since shipwrecks, so I don't know if, like, something's changed. Like, as the day transitions, it'll appear darker than it is, and then it'll get bright real quick. It's really weird. I've seen that a few times. All oh, this turf is gonna override the marble turf, and I ain't gonna have that. So, sandy turf. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna relocate you. And by relocate you, I mean more than likely throw you into the fire. Because you make excellent fuel. There you go. And we can always cook up the green caps if we need sandy. Could always eat the cactus flower. You know, it just depends on like a boss spawn who shows up. And we can we can deal with being crazy during the fight. We do that all the time. And do I want to go this far back or anything like that? Or no, am I, maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I think I'm getting a wee bit ahead of myself. So tell you what, let's put this turf right here. And there's a nightmare. Finally. Hey, Fugly. Let's go. Let's tussle. You want to tussle? You want to tussle crawling horror? This is WX. I am maximum upgrade. I doesn't afraid of you. I doesn't afraid of you. What, what I what I what I am afraid of is not getting a nightmare fuel drop. The, the, those suck. Those are those are sad. Or having you despawn like I think you just did. <laughs> you motherfucker. There's one right there to the left, but I'm pretty sure he just despawned. Not not the new one, but the old one. Ugh, I hate when they do that. Oh, they know what they do. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> WX isn't afraid of the combat. He's afraid of the cheese strats from the nightmares. He's wise to their trickery. He's a smart robot. He's also mean robot. I want to step on it, he says. What about when it's open? This meat tube will serve my purposes. <laughs> oh god, and that other one despawned too, by the way. I'm just getting terrible luck with them. I can't see for shit. Let me chop some of these trees. I know I'm gonna need the logs. There's another, okay, there's a crawling horror. Okay, you, Chester, you just decided now to hop along towards me? Can you not be lucky number, can you be lucky number three and not be the one that teleports away from me and disappears? I just want some nightmare fuel. Oh, you motherfucker, where'd you go? Okay, 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 we're still, we're still in the clear. If I have to break the dank sword out for extra damage, I will do it. All right, we're good. And now we're crazy. <laughs> oh, the game does not want to give me my nightmares. Hopefully one doesn't spawn to my right, I, I wouldn't be able to see it. I can't see, it's too dark. Way too dark. And remember, this football helmet is only 24%. It's not long for this world. I can add you. Alright, thankfully it's day. It's now autumn. All the flingos can be turned off. Second, the, the, the last day of summer, like, 
Once summer is done, you can turn your flingos off. There's no residual overheating or combustion on your plants. You, your character might overheat for some stupid reason, but your, your, your base can't combust, which is nice. And the very first day of summer is a grace period, and nothing can combust on that day, too. So, you don't have to ride out the entire summer season. You get that extra grace period, which is quite nice. And we still have the, flo <laughs> the floaty uh, flego ball thing here. The floaty snowball. I love it. Alright, is there another stack of this on the ground over there? Or did I use it all up already? Just one more. Okay. We can go for a little bit more, and there's a crawling horror. Hey, buddy. Let's take you out. Take you out. But yeah, that examine. This meat tube will serve my purposes. Oh, yeah, and I realize we're 10 minutes in, and I should have said this in the very beginning. All the people who are getting super salty, like super salty about me saying my inputs are full of shame. I say it because it's stupid or because it's funny to me. It's like the Dank Sword versus Dark Sword thing, you know? It's like, I can read. I can see that it says slime. Just shame is much more enjoyable. I mean, when he examines and says this meat tube will serve my purposes, and then you want to say my inputs are full of shame, it, it just sounds better. Come on. Come on. Give me the benefit of a doubt here. <laughs> you should know me by now. There's five Nightmare Fuel, which is a single Dank Sword. I just don't need more. But that's one more to, to, to the cause. One more to the cause. Yeah, I see you there, Mr. Crawling Horror. So I will continue my slaying of the Crawling Horror for Nightmare Fuel. And then the plopping down of Marble Turf for a pretty base. If I can get enough carpeted flooring, which... Thank you, Dragonfly. <laughs> if I go over here... Which I do need to mine. I could totally do it. I could put that in the center and I might use marble on the outside as like a decoration. Maybe maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will do that. Okay. Two dank swords is typical for me. For like like a boss fight, because one will get weakened and then you'll need to you'll need a brand new fresh one in the middle of the fight. So I'll keep two with me. Let me finish you. Oh, I should have attacked there. That was foolish of me. That poor bird right there died and turned into a morsel. <laughs> I would have got put it on the drying rack now. Oh, the poor birdie. I was away from base and I wasn't paying attention to bird, man. I'm, I'm sorry, bud. Here you go. And we've got a stale morsel, which matters not to WX. That it does not. There you go. And I will take that out. Oh, did we kill that one? Did it not disappear? Maybe. I don't know. I couldn't see. It was too dark. It was way too dark. So, Nightmare Fuel in there, and I don't need to put it in there so much as I meant to just to open the chest and get my Dank Sword out. So I'll put a Dank Sword on the marble because it really shows up well. And I'm not crazy enough for you. Now I am! <laughs> Let's see here. I only need to get five total, and that's all the Dank Swords I can make with the Living Logs that I have. Would have been able to make so many more had we not know F prioritized the wrong target. Had we not gotten unlucky with the D-Fly and the Chester incident. Yeah, I'm still crazy, so I might have a chance of killing you too. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. Nice. And I'm hoping for a walking game this time around too for Mech Tusk. Hopefully we can get that cane drop. I like these some movement speed. And then if we get overcharged, all the better. ROG's version of coffee. Overcharged plus uh, walking cane plus roads. I just don't have coffee. I can make up for movement speed somewhere else. Yes, I got him. I think. Yes, I did. Okay, so we got him before he disappeared. Excellent. Which means I have the five that I needed. Nice! We are in the clear. Meatballs, again, stale is fine. I'm probably gonna just do this. Let me just convert these into eggs. Let me go with some bacon and eggs. Now, do I want to get my sanity back up? I am pretty much done with being crazy. I, I mean, unless I get more living logs, that's about all I can do for now. Shift attack there. I always, always fuck that one up just because I don't want to take the damage because I like kiting. Kites where kiting is possible. Nice. Oh, I'm not crazy, so he won't attack. Well, we have five if you consider the placeholder. Works for me. So I have two in my inventory, and I have two on the ground here. Not enough really to do too much damage to too many bosses, but it's enough to kind of get us started. I can use this filler. Rot can be used as 
fertilizer if we needed it, but we don't. So I am just going to add this to the fire to keep us cool for the night. The umbrella should no longer be necessary. Uh, give me that checkered flooring, and I'll tell you... I'll tell you what. What I'm going to do is let's cook up these green caps. We'll get, we'll get a 45 sanity total out of this. It'll help with the crazy noises. And I'll even eat the cactus flower. Yeah, there we go. That helps a lot with the crazy noises. Because they can get a wee bit overwhelming at times. So carpeted flooring, I'm thinking, is just the name of the game here. And it's no longer summer. It will never be summer in this world anymore. <laughs> not, not, not while I'm here, anyway. So I will drop the turf just on the ground. Pine cones, let's just be used as fuel from here on out. Eggs, what do I got for room for you? There you go. Works for me. So, WX is a hungry boy. A hungry robot. He can take two of these and they go stale. It won't matter. I can now go mining. I can go pick up the turf. I have two full dank swords to kill anything that I need to kill. And I really shouldn't need the thermal stone anymore. In fact, I shouldn't need it so much that I'm going to drop it now. And I'll, that'll, that'll free up an inventory slot. Sanity going up is not a bad idea if I find myself in a boss fight. I guess I'll even cook up the cactus flesh. There's many ways that we can get our sanity up along the way here, but I, gu I guess a good idea would be to just take care of it now, right? Now, do I want to bring the tentacle spike? Or do I want to... It's funny that when he examined this, it's all lowercase. Well, minus the I. Everything else he's always examined is all caps. I never noticed that. I should put something on the fire before he goes out. Isn't that Wilson's? Isn't that Wilson's examined, or am I mistaken? I feel like that's like an oversight. Like he should uh, be screaming in all caps like he always does. WX is a very uh, outspoken individual. <laughs> So I would like to get a couple uh, gold rocks mined up, some more stone, more resources in general, and look at the way the endo. Wow, I never noticed that. It's It turned the lightning rod and the scale chest green. Ooh, that's cool. That's very nifty. Well, let's continue. Oh, that was a light bulb that went bad. I just noticed. Let's continue over to where the all, all the carpeted turf is. And there's nothing else really down here. No, nothing else really down there. Let's continue to the carpeted turf and, and do a little bit of mining. Grass, twigs, logs, that supply is looking awesome. No, I hear you there. So, that is my only D-Fly, like, um, uh, like, D-Fly killing station, if you will. It's awfully close to the base. It's awfully close to a tentacle as well. It's not bad as long as I'd be careful with Thief Fly. Probably should have put that a bit further away from base in hindsight, but I think we're okay. <laughs> Things are dying in the distance? It's a shocker! The tentacle killing mosquitoes. Those mosquitoes do not have a chance in hell. No, sir. Alright, what do we have for like green caps, if anything, that I have not dug up along the way? Yeah, I didn't really think there'd be much. There's this weird little set piece right here with the three carpet, three carpeted pieces. I mean, I'll take it, but uh, <laughs> I missed my old carpeted turf for flooring that I had. That Chester took away from me. Chester took it away. Took it away, little bastard. We can just follow this road here. So, we got 19 days until winter rolls around. We start having to worry about being cold, meaning we also have to start making regular runs to Mac Tusk. And hoping for the RNGs, <laughs> hoping for RNGs to shine upon me and give me that Tam and or Cane Drop. I, I think this time around I would prioritize the Cane Drop. WX, if I can ever manage to fight a Mossling, I would get overcharged. Uh, like during that fight, I'm very likely to get overcharged. And then, again, as I understand it, and all of this is even true, I'm pretty sure it's the case though. WX overcharged me, he doesn't get cold winter? I think? That'd be cool if it was, but if it isn't, that's okay. But that would be a nice added benefit, and that would mean not having a TAM wouldn't be an issue. And then I could also just use a walking cane and wear like a football helmet, like I typically do. Because I like having the, you know, like the extra protection there, so if, I don't know, I get hit by an enemy without me knowing or noticing, that's really no big deal. And this road will take me almost all the way there. We should pass our beefalo brethren. Where you at, beefalo? Where you at, guys? Hmm? Guys are around here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Beefalo! 
I, I don't see the poopy. I see no dookie drops. There's my dookie. I forget exactly where they are. There they are. I knew they were close. Hey, buddies. I don't want to examine it at WX. I know what he says. It's a terrible thing. These animals are disgusting. He's just examining the poop when he says that. But uh, he doesn't have nice things to say about our beefalo buddies. So we refrain from examining beefalo's WX. He's smarter than most humans. It looks territorial. I want that egg. <laughs> oh, WX, we agree on so many things. Just not that one, man. Just not that single thing. If you could, if you could fix that about yourself, buddy, I think we could get along. But until that day, I'm sorry. Can't hate on the beefalo, bud. You cannot hate on the beefalo. So this is where I'm definitely getting all my carpeted turf, which is a relief because we got really screwed over you know, the whole Chester D fly thing. Speaking of which, I'm hoping here for some more regular boss spawns. Just I'm hoping kind of like the windy thing where we had the trios every time because we had a really long calm period at the beginning of the series too, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because it usually means you get a lot later, but the more the merrier, right? <laughs> the more bosses, the absolute better. I could pick up some, ooh, I could also do that. Pick up some, uh, the rocky turf here and make cobblestones. I would need quite a few logs, which Berger did do that for me. Just uh, Chester over here and I decided to uh, die with a stack of logs in his inventory. <laughs> I'm gonna blame Chester, man. But uh, yeah, I would, I'd be able to go get a lot of logs that way. It's quite the trek for, I don't think, actually no, I don't really think there'd be too many. No, I don't. I didn't have an opportunity to walk Berger in like a re regular forest. He was just kind of like a small forest off to the side in that grassland biome. So maybe there isn't as many logs as I was thinking. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll have to wait or hold out for another Berger. Oh, that's right. There's just the ever so just the slightest amount of marble here too. So I'm even going to be able to get the marble that I wanted that I lost. Yes! Thank you, base set piece. So I need lots and lots of turf, and this is where I'm going to get it. This will give me all the flint that I would ever need. And here's another, just like a stack of rocks. Excellent. So you hang on to this and that. Just the vast majority of that stuff, bud. And I need to get digging here. We can even, we can even mine down the statue and get myself a good bit of... Fuck. We have the same problem. Moose, she's already here. And the last time we did this, this was the same spot. We lured Moosey here. She disappeared. I think if Moosey strays, I've never confirmed it. I think if Moosey strays too far from her point of origin, you might not get your egg. Which means I'm stuck basing around here for a little bit. And I don't want to piss her off right now. I want to let her just do her thing and have her egg. So I will probably kill that tall bird and just stretch out the time that I, sp I stay here as long as possible in an effort to force Moosey to uh, not despawn and lay that egg. So I, I, I think I'm going to linger about here for a little bit. Which should be easy, minus a hound attack, which uh, should, the hound attack should be a joke. The, the D fly should be very manageable with all the rocks we have. I don't have to worry about an endo. Not that I couldn't even craft one if I needed to, given all the resources, but it looks like we're nomading it. So what I'll probably end up doing, live off seeds, live off tall birds. Nomading is something that a lot of people, once you figure it out, I mean, like, like anybody who's really good at DS is, can live off the game for, for just about ever off the land. But seriously, just go for seeds, pick up seeds, 4.7 hunger every time, go for a couple of berry bushes, kill monsters that regen pretty rapidly. You never really have to settle down. You never really have to make a base. It helps. You bet your sweet ass it helps. But you could live off the land for a very long time, especially in like a season like autumn. I mean, summer, yeah, you're, you're getting some challenges there. In winter, eventually everything will dry up. But it's, 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 it's something that once you know how to do, it's, it's quite nice. I mean, I'm keeping my hunger. <laughs> right about even, just living off of these birds. And I haven't even killed any. I'm just eating the seeds. So, seed drop. There you go. And I mean, I have the meatballs and all the food that's north of me. Nice. And plus, this is WX, so he could eat gears, but I don't exactly have gears now, do I? I forgot to bring them. Nah, I just leave them at base. I don't know if I want to use them yet or not. I'll probably use them if I need to recover for some particular reason. Want to give me a seed? No, you don't. 
And night is upon me, and I guess I will just use a straight up normal campfire. No point in using an endo anymore. Texture glitch! <laughs> Always with the texture glitch. Every time. I can put the lantern down too. I can get more light bulbs. That's better. That way it also won't give me heat and get me overheated. So Moosey's like right around there somewhere, and she should be sleeping. I'm gonna linger around until the egg is here, and then we'll kill Moosey herself. Then we'll wait it out for the moss links. Or, and this is a big or, and I think this is exactly what I'm going to do. We, once we kill Moosey, we can hammer down the nest. And then that should force spawn moss links. I think they are angry with you. If you do that, I'm not sure. Never done it. So this will be something I'd, I'd like to test. And maybe I can immediately get overcharged. And what I would like to do during the mossy fight is the... the the longer I can stay in that fight without actually doing anything, I mean, just not kill them, probably the better. Because when when they're active and they're angry like that, they rain lightning all the time, like it summons lightning, essentially. I could potentially get a lot of overcharges. And I could maybe stack enough to last us the rest of the series. That's generous, yes, I know. But it could last me quite a few days, and that would be nice, at, at the very least. I don't think we're gonna. We're, I don't think we're gonna be able to get like 35 days worth of overcharge, but that'd be cool. That'd be more than 30. I think it's more than 35 lightning strikes. I can't remember. I think it's like half a day, or a quarter of a day, or a third, or something like that. Uh, that's how long an overcharge lasts, and they stack duration, which is fantastic. Yeah, I'll pick that up. Yeah, and you go my backpack. So I will go babysit Moosey. Just kind of sit around her and wait. Hopefully she didn't already vanish. Moosey's been very elusive this series so far, SWX at least, and I can start picking up the rocky turf that we need for cobblestones. Back to the seed grind, because it's day, and we'll get tons of these these crows to spawn. No seed. Okay, Moosey. Where are you at? Don't you fucking despawn on me. Don't you fucking despawn on me, Moosey. Maybe it's top left. Moosey? I'm hoping she wandered over to the tall bird or something. I do not hear her. Hmm. Like I said, my Moosey luck this, this run. It's been something else. Yep, that's what I figured. Killed the tall bird. Which is great. Free food. So, thank you, Moosey. I appreciate that. There can be only one. <laughs> there can be only one bird. And uh, this one is Moosey. Okay, so you just you just stay in existence. Don't you despawn on me. Sale food is just as good. And I really should eat the meatballs first before they completely rot. But let's start picking up uh, rocky turf. And we can do cobblestone roads. And that'll be nice. Uh, can't really combine anything. These two stacks of two aren't really helping. But they're not exactly something I want to waste resources in crafting, so... I'll keep them as long as I can. And the seeds, um... Do you have a spot? You do. Start giving seeds to Chester here. Oh, my inventory's full as well. I, I gotta eat the meatballs first. See, I mean, like, they, they just... It rains food. But, guys, it is time. I, I just, just noticed it. It is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 12 of Lots of Giants. Moosey, we're praying. We're hoping for that egg drop. And we're hoping for them mossling. So, again, once I see the egg, I'll, ki I'll kill Moosey. I'll build myself a hammer real fast. We'll force spawn mosslings and try to get some overcharges going. Should be a grand old time. So guys, again, thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you next time.